What is up beach bums? Today I'm really just doing a little bit of fishing. I just got done with hunting season. I'm trying to put that behind me, get my focus back on fishing. I've got a trip later today. Just trying to see what's going on. This time of year, if you've been watching my videos, you probably know we're looking for whiting and black drum. That's really what's around. If we get lucky, we might pick up a pompano, but they're just not not really hot and heavy just yet that's coming but just having fun today just getting back on the sand beautiful weather it's like 70 degrees uh today's february the 4th can't I'm, I'm in bathing suit this is my summer attire it feels great sun's shining we do have a south wind which we haven't had a south wind in a long time and usually that is conducive for this style of surf fishing water's a little bit dingy don't like that but uh aside from that everything else looks pretty good thanks so much for watching let's catch some fish small sand flea piece of dead shrimp fish bite got our bases covered two this side of the bar beach side one back side of the bar gulf side first hookup of the day Woo! on the shrimp that's pretty typical he caught me off guard i was he caught me sleeping oh oh <laughs> got a little fight in him huh yeah buddy look at there whiting el numero uno probably about 11 ish i would say that's a great way to start the day that's what's here that's what we're catching beautiful fish depending on how the day goes i might end up keeping fish but uh, we're gonna let this guy go thank you for first fish getting the skunk out of the way thank you bud uh, here comes fish number two take it buddy take it take it like a man there you go there you go yeah dig down baby Oh yeah. Man, the whiting this time of year is just, they're just fun. Look at this. We just recently acquired an air fryer and something that I've wanted to try that I haven't, uh, haven't ever had is fish fried in the air fryer. So today is that day we're gonna try it. We're gonna maybe get a couple more of these and see if uh, see if the air fryer will fry them up nice and crispy like. Go, 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 go. There it goes. Oh yeah. Yeah, feel all right. Okay. Oh yeah. There we go. Good. Good. Yes. We might have broke 12 with this one. That's uh we haven't broken 12 yet. Yep, 12 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter. There we go. We finally broke 12 today. <laughs> they uh they definitely are running a bit smaller, but they good fish, man. Good fish. Got a fish over here. Just had that hit from a good fish, look like on the fish bite. Out deep. Oh, this one's got some weight. Oh, yes. Yes. This one's got some weight to it. I like it. I don't think he's gonna be 15. Ooh. He could be though. This is a heavy one. Woo! Yes. New biggest of the day right here. Big and fat. 13 and a half. That's what I'm talking about. I think we've got enough 
before a fish fry so i'm gonna take them home get them battered up i'm gonna try out this air fryer thing see what it's all about we are back at the house and gonna give these air fryer fish a go this will be my first attempt so i may screw some things up bear with me on that i watched one video on a couple of things to do but this is the air fryer that we've got this was given to us as a gift it is uh go wise usa that was given to me by my parentals as a christmas gift so thanks mom and dad courtney and annalise are here but courtney doesn't want to be on camera so whoop whoop there she is real quick and there's annalise say hey hey Woo -hoo. all right that was fast <laughs> This is the whiting that I pulled out. I kept more fish and we're gonna make ceviche with the rest of it later. But uh, I'm gonna get these battered up like I normally do. Not gonna use an egg wash. Talked about that for a few different videos. We don't normally fry this much fish, but for whatever reason, it's just kind of worked out that way. But I don't think an egg wash would be good for an air fryer. I think it does need to be a little bit drier for it to work properly. I don't know. I'm gonna get our mixture ready. All I do, you've seen it the last few, cooks I've done here at the house but I do half and half I do a half cup of flour and then a half cup of cornmeal I've used the yellow and the white I don't know what the difference is I don't know if it makes a difference and you know I like the Zatarain's Creole seasoning I add that to the mixture and I think today I think I'm going to add a little bit of this onto the fish before I drop it in the mixture so that's what I'm doing right now Gonna just add that. Not gonna go too crazy with it, but gonna go ahead and add some of that to the fish. All right. And then a little salt and pepper. Not too much, cause I'm sure it's got it in, it in the Zatarans. Just a little bit of that. Fish fillets in here. Just got like five little ones. I'll shake it up. The video I watched advised to spray in some cook non-stick cooking spray. I'm gonna lay the fillets in here. I'm gonna try to fit them in. My, my air fryer is pretty small, which I guess most of them are. So hopefully I can get these to fit. Just imagine if, if this turns out pretty good, which I, I have a suspicion that it may, how much money you can save in Greece by doing this because Greece is expensive that's like the most expensive part to frying fish so if you can eliminate that thumbs up the non-stick spray that I'm using is olive oil cooking spray which is what was recommended in the video that I watched and she did actually spray the fish just a little bit too so I don't know if that's really necessary or not I'm gonna do it because hers look pretty good so I'm gonna try it. Okay, and we're gonna set our temperature to 370 and time to 20 minutes, which seems a little bit long, but I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and try to eyeball it. 10 minutes in, gonna give her a look. Okay, definitely not turning brown a little bit um i might flip it let's let's give her a flip all right well it looks about the same on the other side i don't know that flipping is necessary not flipping i flipped two of them but we're gonna leave them like that just let it do its thing you know our 20 minutes are up let's take a look all right well they kind of seem done but it didn't get brown all the way they uh kind of started to i don't know if, I don't know if it needs to go longer or what i added an additional four minutes to the clock i think the fish is done it seemed like it was hard and crispy but it was still like some part of it was brown and then part of it was still flowery so don't know all right it's been another three minutes and i'm pulling it out this is uh i think i think it's done so here's what we've got doesn't look quite right still got some uh some 
some flour. So, some of it, you know, is, is looking right, but I don't know. It smells good, and it does feel like it's crispy. It did, it did firm up, but it still is floury. Not all, like some of it started to get that fried brown look, but not quite sure where I went wrong. Some of you may be able to help, but let's break this open. Looks pretty good. Might be a little dry. I, I was cooking it longer than I probably needed to. Like, I'm pretty sure it was done for a while, but I was trying to get it to brown up. So, I probably overcooked it a little bit too. It tastes good and it's got that crispy uh, breading. It's almost there, but I definitely, it's definitely dry. <laughs> definitely overcooked it. It tastes good though. You're gonna have to figure this one out. I think there's some potential here and I know, I know it can be done, but for my first attempt, I might have screwed that one up. Well, I definitely need your help on air frying fish. So, if you've got experience, if you can give me some directions, I would like to experiment with this again and be able to cook it this way because if you could save money on grease and cook it effectively in the air fryer, that would be awesome. It's like I'm eating a cracker. Let me know what, what you do if you are successful at air frying fish. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you joining me along with my shenanigans today and trying to uh, figure this out and trying new things. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And as always, you stay bummy.